Hello Divas, it's your girl Grace aka Face Quizzed here and welcome to another episode of Dialogues with Grace. So on today's episode we are going to be looking at whether it's a good or a bad thing to flaunt one's spouse on social media. Why am I bringing up this um, topic? Well, I see a lot of back and forth on social media um, in regards to the issue of Vicky James and her husband you know um, some people complaining and about the fact that she's showing her spouse off on social media whether it should, you know it's a good or a bad thing you know um, some say she should rest and she should go and sit down she should take several seats she's not the only one to get married you know she should stop peppering them on social media <laughs> and so on and so forth honestly i love my people and you know vicky james is like uh no go and hug transformer if you don't like the way you know i'm flaunting my husband on social media and that i'm not flaunting him i'm just in fact let's talk about it let's talk about it friends so is it a good or a bad thing you know we're delving into it today all right so is it a good or a bad thing what do you guys think? As in you guys watching me, what do you think? Because I know that we have people who are for and who are against. Now, I'm kind of indifferent, quite frankly. However, I also agree that it has its advantages and disadvantages. Personally, I wouldn't flaunt. In fact, I don't flaunt my family on social media because social media is a very aggressive place. In fact, I love it when people, you know, when I see cute babies on social media and I, you know, I ooh and ah and it will make me broody for a few seconds and I'll be like, nope, 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 I'm done with kids, you know, but yeah, they're cute, ooh, ah, love, lovely, you know, uh, send uh, cute love heart emojis and all that, you know, to say the baby's cute, but at the same time, I have my reservations because I just feel like social media is a very very aggressive place i still have my braces a few more weeks a few more weeks friends and it's coming off i can't wait but anyway i digress um i am an advocate for keeping your personal life private i don't have anything against people who do that's their prerogative if that's what you decide to do you want to flaunt your spouse on social media as long as they're willing participant then it's all good but make sure that you're also ready for the backlash because there will be a backlash especially in our community because we're not winning bulls if we're being honest and i just feel like you need to be a bit careful is it a bad thing to flaunt your spouse on social media absolutely not mm -mm. absolutely not there's nothing wrong with it like i said earlier however be prepared for the backlash because there will be a backlash especially when people there are people who are out there praying to god for a spouse and they've been praying and waiting and waiting for the longest time i mean the best thing for such people to do is to celebrate you know people who uh who are who, who god have answered their prayers and they're married because i believe that when you celebrate people's success that success will come to you what you celebrate comes back to you if you celebrate success success come to you if you do not celebrate success well i won't say what's going to happen but that, i'm a firm believer in that but like i said balance this life is about balance okay and it's also about applying wisdom so i see that there are people who have communicated and had a go at um vicky to say ah, ah you're doing too much are you the only one that got married you know why are you always flaunting your husband on social media why not he's her husband that's her husband she loves him he loves her they're newlyweds you know you know there's that stage in marriage you know that first one year especially in fact that first six months one year ah oh, that thing eh, it will be all over you you know all of it will be blah, 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 blah. you know you're going through that uh shishi -boo -boo stage but then there will be the next um the second aspect is it the second aspect because marriage is very interesting you go through phases so that first phase 
I feel like that's what they're currently going through, Vicky and her husband. And why not? Come on, people. <laughs> Let her live. Let her enjoy her marriage. You know, they're in love. Let them be. I feel like that time will come when it would kind of diffuse a little bit, you know? But whilst they are doing it now, I don't see anything wrong with it. Whilst they're doing it now, I don't see anything wrong with it. But what I do know is that everything is balanced so yes please by all means show your spouse on social media you know enjoy yourself but be ready for the backlash because there always is a backlash i personally don't post my family like i said earlier because especially my kids why because people are horrible there are some horrible people out there i mean when i did my videos about davido and chioma oh my god sophia supporters came for the jugular they were not playing <laughs> they cussed me out they told me how i was horrible i was ugly i should face my own problems that i'm probably unhappy in my own marriage and that is why i'm like i'm bitter somebody said i'm bitter that they can see it and that that's why um i did a video apologizing for having been off for a while oh more i was like eh? really so <laughs> you you live in my house you know what i've been through and you've already uh you, you've made up in your in your mind that the reason i took a week off was because of issues that i mean you see that's the kind of things that people do but i'm you know i'm not a baby i've got a thick skin i'm not new to to, to youtube so i can handle these things but when you are a newlywed you know um these things can cause friction in the marriage especially when people start to say such things the kind of things that they're saying about vicky and her husband you know people are saying oh you know she she's the one wearing the trousers in the family and she's making her husband look bad blah 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 don't forget that opposites attract there's always going to be one strong one personality that's stronger than the other and the other would be more calm even when there's twins you will notice that there's always one twin that is more mm, and one twin that's more mellow i'm married to a twin and my youngest sisters are also twins so it's always the case there's always one that is more jim 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 and the other one is more mellow and also in marriage you find that you know opposites attract there's one of this one of the of the spouse that would be the more outgoing the more bubbly one and then the other one would be the one that's more mellow and it there's no it doesn't have to be the male or female that takes either of the role it might come across in vicky and her husband's relationship that she might be the stronger personality but please don't get that twisted don't for one second make um make the assumption that her husband is weak just because he's a more calm person i believe that if he didn't want to partake in their social media um skits or whatever they call it he would not he would not partake and she would not she won't be able to force him him joining her is out of love you know even if he doesn't want to and he's doing it he's probably doing it because he loves his wife and he wants to make her happy but I know that that time will come if he doesn't want to. She won't be able to force him. So I don't think there's anything wrong with them um, flaunting their love on social media. Love is a beautiful thing. Why not? You know, um, there's nothing wrong with it. And I don't understand why people will just come for the juggler like that. I mean, there's a lot of people. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's so many people on social media that are going through things in life. And I can't blame them to an extent because I know that. You see, eh? things are going on at the moment and things are a bit tough at the moment for people. I mean, financially, you know, in, in every ramification, the economy is not good. And this is worldwide. It's not just, you know, in, uh, in a, a particular part of the country or of the world. It's not, you know, uh, pertinent to a particular continent. It is something that is across board. It's a global thing. So people get angry, but I feel like sometimes there are people who take it too far why would you attack somebody because she's happy because she's in love with her husband and they're flaunting their love on social media if you don't like them please don't watch them what's wrong with that i don't see anything wrong with it if you see something wrong with it please tell me why it's wrong in in your comments below because like i always say here we're all here to learn and i keep moving forward <laughs> i don't know why i get carried away um let me try and sit back you know there's nothing wrong in people showing in a, in a couple showing love they're newlyweds you know let them enjoy themselves let them show love 
as long as there's balance because my people say that if your yam is soft and breaks smoothly sorry english english language is just not it has not it doesn't have enough words to express but hear me <laughs> those who know know if your yam hmm, is nice and soft when you you know when you're eating it then you use your hand to cover that yam what is the what does that mean it just simply means that when things are going good for you you must cover it meaning when you are successful in life don't always flaunt your success because not everybody is happy for you not everybody is happy for you and i feel like some people that's what they're trying to say to vicky and there's nothing wrong in saying that because it's the truth not everyone is happy for you not everyone is celebrating your success unfortunately there are people out there who don't give a toss about your success they really couldn't care less they're angry because they want you to be in their position they want you to be as miserable as them and those people are just horrible people however there are some people who are genuinely thinking hmm, this girl eh, this thing that god has done for you why won't you just protect it so there are people that are coming from that perspective and i can relate to that i can honestly relate to that yes there's nothing wrong in you you know flaunting your love and you know your fabulousness with your husband and you know how fabulous your love is and and all that it's a beautiful thing as they say love is a beautiful thing but when you have a good thing i'm also of the opinion that you should protect that good thing i actually saw blessing ceo's um video to vicky and i agree with some of the things she said some of them mm, the delivery mm, i thought was a little bit harsh but the majority of what she was saying i could relate because what i was hearing was vicky protect that thing that god has blessed you with so i got it i i could see where she's coming from having been married for as long as i have i get it and i agree you see people there eh? they'll be looking at you and smiling and making it look like oh they're so happy for you but if anything happens to that your marriage eh? the way they'll start popping champagne god forbid that that be your portion because me i want the best for you i love you i feel like you're fantastic at what you do and i'm praying and hoping that one day i'll be wearing a vicky james outfit you know slaying a vicky james dress oh yes because that girl's good at what she does but that's not to say that what people are saying is wrong so i'm of the opinion that yes there's nothing wrong with you flaunting your love with your husband on social media there's nothing wrong with it however protect that good thing that you have god has blessed you with a man that loves you and you love him back please protect it don't let the people that be tamper with your relationship because some people that's when they want that's your man that's when they will go for your man oh oh okay she thinks that because she's got this man now she can be peppering us with him okay then we're gonna show her that that man that she thinks she has she doesn't have him we can take him and they will go to any length to make a brother fall yes we know that there are some women that do that we know that there's some so, so, some men who have greed in their eyes when it comes to women yes we know that but there are also some women who are skilled in making the brother fall no matter how strong that you think you are they will bring you down within seconds once they get that grip even if you don't like that person they have this seductive spirit eh by the time they well, before he can blink, the man has fallen. And the woman at home wouldn't understand why. She'd be like, oh, but you said you love me. But we love each other. Why would you do this to me? Why would you do that to me? Especially when you're newlyweds. Hmm? These things happen. So, Vicky, please enjoy your marriage. Love your husband. Let him love on you too. Show off your love. Why not? Love is a beautiful thing. But at the same time, always remember that we have to protect that which we love. Okay? protect that which you love protect that which you love a word is enough for the wise do not expose your marriage if you notice a lot of these people i don't know if you watch i'm not really a fan of reality tv like that um but one thing i do know is that a lot of the people of couples who um end up on reality tv one way or the other the marriage ends up crashing because the whole world has something to say and then they start to put ideas because before you know it now they start putting ideas in uh vicky's husband's head he too will start looking at himself uh, like oh ah, is it true ah, maybe i am coming across as soft okay let me toughen up now i won't take nonsense when she says this i'll just tell her you know 
it might not be that way inclined but there are some men who are not confident and they can start to do that they start to feel that oh this is what people are saying okay so this is how people are viewing me okay i'll show them that i'm the man and then they change in the house you know uh, so, so so once upon a time they were nice and loving and sweet and calm and all of a sudden they become aggressive because they feel the need to prove to the world that they are the man in the home which is not necessary so these are the kind of things that happen when we flaunt our relationship on social media so all I would say to, Vic, um, to Vicky is sweetheart just balance it balance it make sure that in all that you do balance things and of course i know you're a praying woman so balancing things coupled with prayer and god will see you through i pray that your marriage works your marriage lasts because you have a beautiful thing you guys are a beautiful couple you look good together you know so yeah protect that beautiful thing that god has given you and i pray that your marriage will be blessed with children as many as you guys want you know and that your relationship will be a happy and long lasting one all right divas so what do you guys think do you agree that you know a little bit of everything is you know that balance is what they need or do you think that actually no do not show you know your spouse on social media at all i mean what's your opinion about people flaunting um maybe flaunting is not the word but people who are constantly on social media um you know because you know some people it's their business that's how they make money um you know but i personally and i know a lot of people as well choose not to i i, I choose not to show my my, my children on social media because if you want to send hate and all that i'm old enough to handle it but my kids because mm -mm. when it comes to my kids there eh? <laughs> i'm a tigress so i'm not going to allow it so i choose to just protect them you know so i will not show them so maybe eventually when vicky and her husband start to have kids you know things or maybe even before then they start to calm down you know and vicky will flaunt more of um, her beautiful uh you know showcase her beautiful outfits and the other stuff that she does on social media because i feel like i'm sure i've seen i think she has a podcast or something like that i think i've seen it once so she probably focus more on that um but especially when the kids come you won't have time anyway to do all, all of this uh, stuff but um yeah let me know your opinion let me know your thoughts in the comments box below do you think that it's okay to balance the two or do you feel like it's the beginning of the end once you start to flaunt your spouse on social media that is better not to do it at all you know keep your family your personal life um off social media what do you guys think let me have your thoughts in the comment box below i would like to hear what you think anyway divas i'm gonna wrap it up here i look forward to your thoughts so until next time divas stay absolutely fabulous stay beautiful remember that jesus loves you and i your girl your grace your ace did i just say your grace <laughs> <laughs> that I, your girl, your ace, your sister, your big sis, your younger sis, your auntie, your friend, your paddy, I love you too. Until next time, stay beautiful. Love you, love you. Bye.